Hey, good evening all. This is Annie D. Well, I like to think on my purple sofa. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's all in the mind. If I think I am on my purple sofa, well, you know what? I am, as far as I'm concerned. But of course, I will be joined virtually by, oh, this lovely woman, sportswoman, model, actress, you name it, Shota Rupa Pine. Let me tell you what a delectable package she is. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, look, lots of people already on. Neha, good to see that you're on. Now, guys and girls, do not get jealous. Yeah, yeah, all you got to do is uh, take notes from my date tonight with this lovely lady. I'm telling you, women now have sus guys out, okay? So you need to up your game. So I guess you need to watch and learn, right? So this is what I'm saying. Anyhow, glasses on because I've got, oh, Neha, thank you, nice and pink. Why, thank you, Neha, very nice. Right, glasses on because now it's time to get serious. So let's see if my date is here. Oh dear, so look, yeah, I hope she's on there. So she could be, she could be getting ready. That's what she could be doing. You know what, and it's all worth it. Um, oh, there you go. Let me just go this one. My hands, you know what, I'm really... I'm sure I have. So there you go, I'm waiting for my date. It is speed night, it, what speed date? On my Friday night, I am out on the tiles once again. And Sotarupa, it is... Sotarupa, how lovely, how are you? God, how are you? Absolutely fine. You are looking fly, as they would because, say. Because you said it's a date with you, so I thought <laughs> I should dress up a bit. Oh, I oh god, you know, I'm taken aback. So if I if I if I don't say anything, if I go silent, it's because I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> oh no, you're the least of it's so lovely to be here with you. Oh, oh, pleasure is all mine. And I'm telling you, by the way, this is the first time. I've been on a date with a woman. I just realized this. You know, I want to say, oh, look, Honey Bunny has come in. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I love that name. And my mum will be so happy today. She spent her life telling me to hang around with girls and not to hang around with, you know, guys. So, mum, this is for you. You know, little does she know. <laughs> How auntie is feeling about, uh, about your first date. Please let me know. Please. <laughs> Here with you today because I was really <laughs> the fact that you mentioned a date with you and I yeah. just I just uh, I, I went for a nap and then I quickly woke uh, you know uh, woke up and to just to get ready for, uh, for oh. a quick chat oh lovely lovely I like to know that you're all prepared See, this is how I like my dates all <laughs> rearing to go this is how it should be so notes people so tell me listen now are you from Calcutta uh, have I been reading this right? Yes, I am from Calcutta. Oh my God. You know, I feel that this is, we're just made for each other because my dad's from Calcutta. Oh. Can you imagine my dad and his family? And I'm telling you, my memories are of being on that minibus. So now my age is showing. You know what, that these minibuses that they used to have. And I remember the radio blasting off because that time, you didn't have, no, not many people had cars. So, you know, people like us, commoners, we used to get on the bus. Right. And I remember this, and I remember this song. Now, do you speak Bengali? Sorry? Do you speak Bengali? Or do you I... understand Bengali? You do? Yes. So, listen, does this make sense? It's, it's from a childhood memory. Bishtipure, uh, Bishtipure, Tapur Tupur, Ame Jabe Takur Tukur. Is that correct? Oh, sweet. Oh, my God, you mean? <laughs> It sound like a fucking low, you know. I'm sorry, I mean, it's just a lyrical like song. It felt so good from your mouth. Like, Brishti Pari Tapur Tupur. Ah, Tapur Tupur, okay. It's very beautiful from your uh, mouth. It's just like so. Oh my God, it's a lasting, it's a lasting childhood memory because I used to go to Calcutta every year, every okay. year for six weeks, and it was lovely. I have a lot of attachment with Calcutta. I love Calcutta a lot. In fact, I was supposed to go for a, for a shoot, uh, but somehow it's because the situation is such in Bombay and Calcutta yeah. and the people who are staying in Bombay are not really welcomed anywhere at the moment. <laughs> it's it's a riot. Or a US or, you know, somewhere where the, you know, it's a very, it's been considered as a red zone and people doesn't want, uh, even if I belong there, but then yeah. nobody wants to back for a shoot. Oh, and, come to and, me. <laughs> come to Gurgaon. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm here to date. Uh, on a date, you are happy because of what's going on. 
<laughs> oh my god do you know also i've realized and calcutta reminds me of the ambassador i have realized the ambassador car is probably the car that will go down in indian history as the only saloon that can yeah. fit in 12 people absolutely uh, I don't... <laughs> my father uh, my father owned an ambassador car for his our first car was an ambassador car and i still remember it was white and i would go to school uh, on ambassador you know <laughs> This is it. I love this. So these are my memories. Can you see? It's all coming back. I'm loving it. Honestly. Stayed there? You stayed in Calcutta? No, I used to visit. So my parents' family were there, and then so um, so I used to just go every summer after school. So for six weeks, we used to go to Calcutta without fail, uh, for at least ten years on the trot. So there you go. There is a connection. There is some connection. And I'm forward to. connections happening with you yeah so listen listen now you were always an actress you were actually a sportswoman weren't you yes <laughs> oh my, and a very successful and very capable one if i if what i'm reading is correct tell oh, me yeah. about that i think i was a better sportswoman than an actor now i feel because oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah if i have to judge between the two realms of you know because th- those were both very different areas where i wanted to excel mm. and uh, sports wise my father was a footballer uh, yeah. so uh, he she, he always wanted me to pursue sports and then i started uh, playing volleyball mm-hmm. and happened post that but there was a different uh, um, that was a different life and this is a very different life mm. so yeah but uh, I think uh, what I achieved in achieved in sports that's very very memorable for me and uh, wow my um state I I have I was selected for India team and uh, I was about to go to Australia to play the nationals uh, the, wow. the inter- and those memories were where my father my mom my sister were all in Vizag for a training camp and you know and getting awarded the best player and all that and suddenly you know something striking me and then changing the entire uh you know phase of life to being a model and um, actor yeah. some, which is like a story i feel <laughs> i know so tell me when did that change actually come so you you're doing really well i feel there's a dipika padako moment coming here because you know her father being a you know famous I'm, sports I'm, person i'm a big fan of dipika <laughs> she's doing well yeah. everybody's everybody's uh, target i feel is dipika everybody who's acting at the moment would always want yeah. to where she is right now so yeah well let me tell you looking at you you were a damn good start i'm telling you lovely delectable but listen when did that change come why why from being really good at sports why suddenly movies what happened um maybe i uh maybe i got a uh, little unsatisfied with sports at the end mm-hmm. when um I figured out because I'm I'm from a family where I didn't have to struggle much uh yeah. or um I was really pampered and uh, the fact mm. that I saw that it's too much of uh, too much of uh, hard work after after yeah. a certain point and then my body was giving up like in the yeah. sense uh it's like it's too much of hard work and 5% of what you get and for women's volleyball team it's not like yeah. not like cricket to achieve a central government work or maybe getting a job or maybe playing for the eastern railways yeah uh, they are think uh, playing for your india team it is so much of hard work and uh, hardly you get any recognition after that and that is what was bothering me i feel because yeah. i was my schooling from on, on from better institutions like uh, i studied in oncilium convent and i I, I i got through my masters in english uh, from the best university which is jadhav university in calcutta so there was a pressure on studies firstly mm-hmm. and also uh, i was feeling that uh, uh, something can something some change can happen at this moment because it's going to be a long long process from from where yeah. i've been like i have already achieved a lot and and then i felt ki uh, no i don't want to do a central government job for sure because right. it's a uh, ticket every, off. yeah tickets and all that i ticket off next yeah. <laughs> so i thought uh, okay so um I started getting compliments for in in you know what happens there's this um, so there's a time when you know you slowly uh, get into yourself and there's a self analysis uh, within you where you understand that oh my god I can you know do something else yeah. than what I'm doing right now so 
one one day in college and school i think i was sitting with uh, with my friends and there was this beauty contest it was so unplanned trust me there was this one uh, big ad uh, mm-hmm. in my school all my friends were talking about and yeah. uh, nobody in their uh, in their uh, you know wildest dreams thought that i would apply for it because i was a tomboy and there was no way i can apply for a beauty contest but then the fact that people were like listen you are not you are not doing this let's let the other girls you know, <laughs> Job. Why can't I just send? Because you know, I why can't I try this? So Any time I feel there's a blockage in in the way of my thought, and maybe I want to cook, and somebody says, "Oh my God, you terrible, terribly, you have done." So I always get into that thing, like, okay, I need to do this well because I don't yeah. like the, the coming my way. I think the criticism, or uh, it, it was not criticism. It was just that Challenge. nobody, yeah, nobody could um, ever. F- if you go to my school friends. they still write to me on my emails like you are the biggest change in the history of auxilium convent <laughs> in you playing throw ball volleyball all inter school matches there can't be any match without you how did you do this how did you pose started posing and everything i seriously don't know how that happened maybe i was not expected to do that that's the reason why i actually got it into me and uh, it was a big uh, transition i feel like you know a lot of a lot of hard work has gone to yeah. this So how long did it take from the the inception of the thought to actually getting a first signed contract? So how long did that take then? So the first day, I still remember, two thousand eight, I went for a beauty contest, a very local beauty contest in Calcutta, which is called Unish Kuri, two thousand eight or something, and it was one of the biggest ones in Calcutta, considering Tilottama and Unish Kuri contests are the best contests. <laughs> so if I've gone, then I've definitely got rejected and. Um, So that is the time I think I got a knack of it. I got attracted to that entire beauty, uh, you know, that uh, the the beauty ground. Everybody, yeah. Looks beautiful. The hair is made, and you know, the hair is yeah. made, and um, the uh, how you know how how everybody is so groomed and posing. And I have no idea about how this happens because nobody is there to teach me what to do yeah. in, in that form. So I think from there. Um, I was lucky. I went with my mom and dad to uh, for a panel hopping in Calcutta. I got clicked by a Telegraph newspaper. Just oh. for, and that's the time my first picture came out on Telegraph newspaper from LP office. And my dad and my mom got over to me like, "Why did you get clicked?" <laughs> I was I still remember I was wearing a Dolce Gabbana t shirt, t uh, uh, you know, a frock or something, which my mother bought for me, and I I was wearing that, and I got clicked for hopping the. You know, in Magic Square, I got clicked. That's your, then, that's your lucky T-shirt. <laughs> yes, you have it. And I said, "Mummy, this one is my. This is where I, uh, today I, you know, I've landed up here because of this one." And yeah, from ABP office, I got a call, and then they wanted me to model for a magazine there. And from there, there's no stop. You know, everything, wow. everything changed. My body language, my everything. Yeah. I think Miss India 2010, where yeah. I, you know, is is a platform which has actually. Corrected my base a lot. Yeah. So, uh, it's, so listen, you know when you first like your first movie was Calendar Girls. So, uh, what well, I'm assuming, I hope I'm right about this. I mean, but you know, being a newbie in the industry, um, I'm assuming you don't have connections in the actual industry. You know, Sonu Nagam is coming out with all this and how hard it is for new people to come into the industry. Is it true? Is it hard to actually get in and get that first movie? Very hard. I can't be lying. Mm. It's really hard because um, it's 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 like it's a little bit. Uh, maybe I was very hard working because God, I think God has seen my journey. Uh, like it yeah. was a complete transformation because the way he was standing on the fields in the volleyball with a complete different gait uh, to coming to the runways and there's so many people to criticize how you, what you're doing, how you uh, what you're wearing, and so much to take mm-hmm. in. Yeah, so I I changed it all, but then uh, the movie. Part coming to that, it is. Uh, I think it's because of my, you know, athlete background. I could take this challenge. You know, that one yeah. day, all from that, I was modeling. I was at, the, yeah. at that. I got this movie. I was one of the, you know, renowned models uh, every mm. because I was in Black Me Fashion Week and yeah. I was Black Me Fashion. I started working for Wills Lifestyle, so I was a. Season model that time, and my yeah. body, my confidence. Well, that was not a struggling period for me. That was a period where I could say yes to some work and say no to few, and I could yeah. 
choose my modeling assignments and I was a face for different different brands that time mm. so that's the time when I think I got a call um, and um, I still remember I was in Delhi shooting a campaign when I got a call from Madhu Bhandaka's office mm. and uh, they said that sir wants to meet you so generally when you get a call it's always a casting director mm -hmm. telling you audition nobody says yes. that sir wants to so that is that is something which is uh, you know I'm like Madhu Bhandaka wants to meet me. I, I asked that guy. Mm, so he's like, yes, because your picture. He's been really talking about this few pictures. Wow. Which have been this, this is the face it might be he needs for the movie. And uh, knowing that you have a Bengali background and yeah. your name is so clearly telling you telling us that you're a Bengali, and we are searching for a Bengali girl. We would like to meet you tomorrow. I said tomorrow. I am in I am in Delhi, and tomorrow would be so difficult for me to reach. Uh, then this guy told me, "See, I hope you know that you know, this is me. If you don't land up, there will be somebody who will be more eligible, or maybe everybody yeah. is so short, so, so beautiful, and so cutthroat in here." So, so I thought, okay, okay let's not waste time because I'm going to finish my shoot by evening. So why not fly at the late night flight and just take it from there? Yes, and yeah. I did that. Brilliant! Good and, for you. Yeah, and then when he met me, I was shivering because you know I was a big fan of his uh, craft because uh, he has done movies like Fashion, and it is so much uh, concerning our industry that I, I was really, really, um, you know, taken aback when he was just smiling at me and just so normal. And he's like, "Listen, chill. Uh, you just." Just you know, relax. It no, but don't think so much. And uh, we've called you for a reason. And uh, you look like Tabu. He said on the first meeting. I still remember. I said what? Tabu. You calling me? Because he has been working with uh, Tabu a lot, and he's big. Mm -hmm. big he likes Tabu a lot in his films. So. Yeah, I mean, he's worked with Karina, uh, obviously Kangana, all all the the, the biggest. I, I think is it Sonam Kapoor? So I I could be wrong there, but he's Tabu. worked with uh, all of them. Yeah, yeah, so, Charlie. Tabu and then heroine was with uh, Karina and uh, Priyanka and Kangana has worked in uh, fashion. In fact, um, uh, Kangana Sharma has worked. Kangana Sen Sharma has worked in uh, one film with him. Yeah. So yeah, I was. Uh, he called me for the team has asked me to come for an audition. So that is the time that's yeah. a situation. You know, that is the day oh. when you need to crack it because yeah. first. You got fifty percent selected because the director is right sitting in front of you and saying that you are good. So that yeah. is a, uh, you should take it. That nobody know in Mumbai you generally don't get up uh, get to meet the director on the first day. You meet after yeah. you go through the casting directors and then perform really well and then get to meet mm. the director. Oh, this was different. So so the advice to women is is to literally go to your parties and go to these festivals and make sure you get your face clicked and hope that it will come in a newspaper. That could be your big break. <laughs> that could be it. You never know what's coming your way. Just get seen and never, yeah. never, never be in a dull, dull uh, situation ever. Even if things are bogging you down, always you know take this yeah. uh, effort to just you know get ready and uh, look good and just go out. You never know what's waiting outside. That has happened to my life because yeah. it's all about. I always felt good inside. I was a happy soul inside. Oh, so I think lovely. Attracted towards me, everything as was attracted towards me, and I. Oh, really I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, this movie was. It seemed to be based on Vijay Malia's life, uh, in terms of the Calendar Girls, the Kingfisher Calendar. Um, right. So you were one of five leads, right? Is it Paroma Ghosh? If I if I sent it, if I said it, a Bengali character, and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I said it wrong. Oh dear. So, what was it like? So, it's about women. Um, if I'm not wrong, it's about women knowing that they're good looking, but also using it, but also being exploited as well. There seemed to be a combination of things, you know, match, you know, fixing. So, that, I think that was the great thing about the movie. But uh, do you feel that? Um, so, how, you know, do you feel that people reacted to you differently after doing the movie? Oh yes, yes. There was well. time. I was very new and I never faced the moving camera ever because for me everything was really challenging because the first day I went to the set my my first scene was to cry somebody stopped yeah. me and I'm crying and that was my first scene first time facing the camera so I think uh, the criticism was lot about this movie and that mm. I was a different lookout it was like a biggest break in my life and I felt mm. I 
down seventh heaven, and I felt that okay, now everything is changing. Now this is something big which I have done. I yeah. felt right, like this is something it's not so easy because a girl coming from Calcutta and mm. getting making a film uh, in Bollywood without a godfather is very difficult. Very, yeah. And, um, you've done it. Now you can. You Tick know. that box. <laughs> <laughs> Tick that box. Uh, but so, you know what? A lot of a lot of people think it's really easy for for a woman or anybody for that matter to just go in the movies. You just need to kind of look pretty, and you get paid a lot of money. Is it that easy to be an actress? Actually, I mean, is it an easy life? Not at all. Not at all. The most hardest job I've chosen for myself. I think if now I was playing for Eastern Railways, it would have been at least one way of uh, hard work. This is yeah. a multi. multiple uh, uh, realities coming towards you too many things you need to work on it's not easy at all mm. and uh, it's a lot of pressure you you have to do so many things at a time you have to look good you have to you have to always be on your toes yeah. um, and uh, there's a impression that things you should know what you can say what you can't say there's always a, a you know you have to understand a lot of things which uh, you cannot you have to be a diplomatic soul firstly you cannot just yeah. keep on uh, you have to have a control on everything and um you have to be politically correct all the time and oh. you can just you know be all over the place in a in a in a industry like this you have to yeah. be, things are going wrong for you have to keep a happy face it's a lot of drama here it's a lot of drama So, But also, is it very difficult? Because I tell you, what's a normal day like? I mean, can you, if you feel like having a pizza or a burger, could you just go out and have it, or you know, knock a few drinks back? I mean, how disciplined do you need to be? <laughs> Sorry, oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, how disciplined do you need to be? So, I'll say again because I think you may have missed it. If you like, you know, I I always crave a pizza or so, you know, vegetarian burger or a drink. Is it the same for you? Can you do the same? I do a lot. You have no idea how much I eat. Firstly, I tell you this: I have <laughs> never starved myself, my stomach, or my soul ever. Anything I love doing, I do. I think that's very important for life. It's it's a myth who says that you can you need to starve to be to to have a good body or to be an actor. You can eat everything, but yeah, a little bit of discipline is needed. You need to walk it out. As simple yeah. as that. So basically, expend the energy, yeah. expend the calories. That's all, right? You have to shed the calories out. There's no other way, and uh, you cannot be eating biryani every day. That's what I'm trying to tell. Yeah. That you cannot be eating burger every day, but you can yeah. eat. how systematically you're doing this right you can okay you can, you can do a lot of things you can have a glass of wine you can do whatever you want but it can't be regular because anything which is which is not good for your body if it it's becomes regular it shows on your face so yeah that, that yeah. Means- yeah because there do seem to be a lot of pressure you know in the industry so now you know what i don't know what's happened you know lately but everybody seems to be on social media all the issues seem to be coming out the pressures of being an actress i mean for example even priyanka chopra coming uh, coming out and you know reading about her and the pressure of looking you know having looking perfect having the right skin color um you know and, and it's amazing you know the, the more famous she's got she's got lighter i mean do you find that have you faced this in the industry where you, everything needs to be perfect that the skin color needs to be correct have you faced this i mean do certain directors favor uh, things like this that the perfection the perfection that they have in their mind i haven't faced anything as sort of my color or uh, or anything because i got their support initially because maybe i I never had that kind of tantrums or maybe attitude towards anybody. I was a very uh, choppy and people they, people loved talking to me because I was very grounded. I never had that kind of a uh, any complex or anything. Yeah, I, body I, images. So people would always like got big or you know or or a friendly person would just sit and talk to me and I have always got that kind of a uh, um, you know vibe from everybody. But uh, you know having said that there is a lot of competition around you you will be you will be criticized in everything how you talk or how you, how what's your you know your body complexion your um uh, your everything uh, if you're coming from a small town everybody is gonna make you realize in a in a indirect way that yeah. you don't that you don't yeah. fit but that shouldn't that shouldn't be your lookout yeah. you have yeah. to do that and that's the smartest thing to do 
if no, some, I like that. If yeah, that's really written, or maybe you have an accent or you have anything. Because initially, when I was here, I was a Bengali, so I I had an accent. Uh, I was learning Hindi that time. So do I. <laughs> I have an issue. But you have a good accent. I wish I had this accent because. <laughs> Uh, then uh, I oh could have, God. but but see, all all of these girls, five girls had five different accents. Yeah. There is one Gujarat who speaks in a very uh, Gujarati way, and the Hindi, the English, everything comes out in Gujarati way. Yes. Me, I initially, long time back, when I sp- when I would speak Hindi, that's the time when a few pronunciations like pa and all this, a few words which would come in a very Bengali way. So at the time of my workshops and all these things. uh the actors uh, who are with me would uh, criticize god no, no. they're very funny uh not not the main heads like not the director or the producer or the teacher or the or the grooming expert or the choreographer telling you anything but it's always your contemporaries who would like to pull you down so ah, you need to be that. that so i how easily can you change it it's how hard yeah. i've done so much I have done games and then I've done sports and then I started posing and then I started coming into an acting field. You've right? done a lot. Because so how is how it would be so difficult to learn Hindi and you know get it yeah. done? I see. Took- I, yeah, I like it. I like that attitude because I've seen you. I listened to your TED talk and I I love the message. You know, to get out your comfort zone and that's exactly what you've done and you've just nailed it, haven't you? I am blushing because you are praising me so much, but yeah. um yes you know i couldn't be in my comfort zone ever i think god haven't chosen any comfort zone for me till now i am i'm never comfortable on my comfort zone it's something when i'm even the morning i wake up if some if something is very hard or maybe you know even i clean my house which i don't need to do uh, which i can always have somebody around but now that the virus is around so i'm not getting anybody at home and i'm yeah. my so i was never at my comfort zone because uh No, I could good. God hasn't chosen that comfort uh, or Oh, well you know what? You know why? Because you're always looking for a challenge. This is what I see. This is the vibe that I'm getting, right? Anything <laughs> too easy. <laughs> it wouldn't be nice for you. I'm telling well, you the, I'm telling you the real story. I'm very competitive. Ah, uh, but well as you should be. Why not? Put it out there. You do your work. Uh, very, you achieve. In a very good way, not harming anybody. I'm my own yeah. competitor. If I see something good, if somebody's singing good, I start singing that song. Whereas I know my voice won't <laughs> suffice to. <laughs> but I do that. Oh, Don't God. care enough. But listen, you know, after the calendar girl, so that was in Hindi. But then you went over to do Bengali, uh, a Bengali right. movie. Is it Meher Ali? Have I said it right? Meher Ali. Right. So, I mean, so tell me, what, the psychological thriller is it? Um, so, um, this is what I'm thinking. So, what was the difference? Was there a difference between doing Calendar Girls and then doing a Bengali movie? Oh, the scope uh, feels the Hollywood and Bollywood is like you know massively diff- uh, different. Uh, yeah. Bollywood makes you a star, like you know, makes you feel like a star. Even the game is much higher because yeah. Uh, everything uh, feels very rewarding in bollywood i'm not saying anything bad about tollywood but i'm trying to say this it's very lot of hard work it's a lot of yeah. different different um, way of filming there it's very yeah. different filming and uh, it's it's very planned i feel yeah tollywood- how did how did that come around though how did that come to you were you applying for it or did it just come your way meher ali yeah Oh it I got a call from the hero he was a producer <laughs> so he called me i think he even called me one day as a time for a cup of coffee i said yes please oh, oh my god you, you know i decided <laughs> i need to hang around with you <laughs> that's what i, I need to. i would love to hang around but you tell me you you are staying where at the moment i'm in gurgaon so i okay. moved i moved to gurgaon 10 years ago after being born and brought up in london studied their work there and i was on radio there as well and then i was on radio here and i left it and now i do interviews because i love getting to know people i love talking to people <laughs> you 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 executed so well you have oh. that yes you doing it really well no thank you so much but you know what nothing on the stage like you i'm telling you because i did watch your movies actually You I tell you something there's something about you your face cut your everything 
that is just perfect for the camera. In fact, you remind me of a family member. Now, Anu, if you are listening in, I'm telling you, this girl looks like you because you've got this gorgeous cut. And I've always said to, to, to this lady, uh, I think a few people on here will probably know her. The fa and I've always said that face cut, oh my God, brilliant for the camera. I'm telling you, that's all you need to do, the camera. I need your number as well, I'm telling you. So, you know that director or that actor, if they ever call up, I, 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 I can do daddy sauce rolls. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you are looking, you are so pretty. You have no idea. I think you are yourself. Because you first oh. look, you are about oh, no. to see it, right? Way uh, beyond. Way I beyond. Oh, no, no, you I, I completely disagree with you. And of course, um, yeah, you can always try for movies. There's no age. There's no time for anything. You can just uh, try for movies. Why not? But because I have your number, if you want, uh, if I get anything, I might just uh, forward it to you. Who, who knows? Ooh, I love oh. this date. I love this date. It's going somewhere. <laughs> but I, think, I can see what I'm seeing. So I think you can <laughs> easily put it off. Oh, lovely. Oh, look, there's so many people that are loving you too. Like Soraya, she say you're amazing date. There are lots of people are just coming in and it's a shame. If you kind of message it again, I can say hello to you. But there were so many people coming in. And I wanted to say, you know what, uh, Shotarupa, take it away because these guys obviously want, you, want to talk to you. Have you got any people that you want to say hello to? Anyone who's messaged in that you want I, to say hello? Um, no, I think uh, some of my uh, the, the followers from my page, uh, I don't know if they've got notified or not, but then this is two fan fan pages. What Tony, Raj, Sar Saraya, or oh, age is just an oh, thank you. I, age I, is just a number. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look, I, is that people who've joined it? I, I don't know if people are lazing around at 6 p.m. or not, but then if you are here, and I think the moment, oh, oh one thing, I'm going to share this chat. I think that's a way my followers could see this chat and that's I think some of them are not online at the moment yeah. but if they will get post this chat I'm going to share it I think it will be more visible yeah. do you know I don't touch my phone that much when I'm doing an interview because I am rubbish I could do anything anything that could go wrong will go wrong my phone will drop it has happened you know or the light will go or my mum will call so oh. you know, and I have to pick up my mum's call. That's one call I dare not pick up. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Anything could happen. But listen, you know, the, the situation has occurred where we're in a pandemic now. And it's given a lot of people time to think. So the people that I've talked to, you know, they're, they're trying different things. So what are the new things that you've seen that you've developed or you've seen about yourself that, oh, you know, I'm good at this? You know, maybe I'll push acting aside and maybe this is something that I'll do. Has anything actually developed while you've been in this situation? Oh, my God. I'm inventing myself. I've just gone deep, deep inside me to understand what all I like. I like so many things. I'm cooking like a rock star. Like, like a wow. Rock. Like I'm cooking really well. I don't know if nobody's there to taste it, but I know how it is. It's just going really well with me in, in terms of cooking. I've just realized that I love to sing and listen to music. I'm very attached to music. And yeah. also I've done some, some uh, uh, you know, instrumental skills on DJing, like, you know, you know some, oh, wow. some understanding on, on that, uh, on the, uh, you know, uh, I just so got I... a DJ friend who has actually sent me an app. He said, that just, uh, it's a virtual DJ device. You just yeah. first learn there and first understand hey. the beats well. and... You know what? Forget the beat. You're talking to an ex RJ, so you, I, I could give you some tips as well. We could just make some music together. <laughs> I mean, suddenly, my mood gets better. The moment, the moment. <laughs> of course, we can do this. We can do a lot of things. Uh, and you know, the moment that uh, entire I set up with my you know, home theater and everything, and I put on some music, just the music. It's just not any song. And then slowly working on mixing it. So easy, yeah. like. You just have to mi mix uh, one music with the other and you need to know the bits. If it's going yeah. on at 8 or 32, so you select something which is 32 and just mix it. And wow. that's exactly what I've learned. And uh, I'm slowly learning that. And that is giving me a lot of energy. And, so, so, uh, right. Just... So I've got a funny feeling that next time I get out, when this is all over, you know, shot the rupa, DJ shot the rupa. I bet you, oh. you know, I'd probably go to a club. Or, or, or Shota Rupa's recipes online. 
So I'll, I'll keep the name as DJ Pine. <laughs> BJ Pine. I like that. That's got a ring to it, actually. See, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, oh. I just thought, you know why? Because Shatrupa was tongue twisted for a lot of people in Bombay. If you simple people, it can't be. Oh, look, you've I'm frozen up. So I'm just getting so many. <laughs> which is okay. Tell, have, them, can, tell them to come to Annie D conversation. Tell them to tune in for goodness sake. It's easier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody knows. I, I think I've just posted it. I didn't call it to them and say that you should catch, catch me live, which I didn't do. Hi, Gotham. Lots of love to you. Oh, okay. oh look, he's changed your name completely. Forget Shatarupa. He, I don't think he's having difficulty with Pine as well. <laughs> Oh yes, I've, uh, there were times when I went for some events to, you know, for ribbon cuttings and all after my film and uh, there were terrible pronunciations coming my way on my name and they would call me different terrible names like uh, nobody has any understanding what Shatrupa is and what how it's been pronounced at so they would call me anything. So I clearly understood that this name, they love the name but they don't know how to pronounce it. Pronounce it. Yeah, they love it. Have I said it? Have I said it properly? Oh, yes, you are perfect in everything. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you nailed it today. You're, you're uh, you know, total homework you've done, I can see. So that's me. Oh, you a professionalist. oh look. no, I, I just, I just, I just said a few words of Bengali that I know from my bachpan. That's all. <laughs> I, I can teach you a lot of words, sentences, and anytime you need any help to send it to anybody, just call away. Just call me and yeah. say, Oh, fantastic. So listen, the amount of phone calls that you've got, do you get disturbed like this on a normal date? You know, when you're one-to-one -one in a restaurant, do you get 10,000 phone calls? This is what I want to know. Oh man, I don't know. Yes, I do get a lot of calls and... Um, That's not good, I, is it? I, I don't pick up a lot of calls. My friends know it very well, that I won't pick up a lot of... Uh, I love them, but I would not pick up a call if I don't feel like talking and they know it. I'm, I'm quite moody. I'm, uh, I need to be like, like we, today I was uh, scheduled that I'm going to talk to you and it's my date with you. Yeah. So if this is the time when anybody calls, it won't, <laughs> it won't be entertaining. And oh. the two, trust me, the two people who are calling me at the moment, two of them are calling, calling me continuously. They are the ones I actually informed that I'm going to go for a live at six yesterday in fact, I was with them they are the ones who actually thought about it and they are the ones who are actually calling me so this is what is very funny okay. right so listen what is an ideal date like for you you know so if I had to be perfect for you what would I need to do um <laughs> oh god so I think a good view you know nothing much you don't spend much on <laughs> on, <laughs> on food because I'm gonna have only one starter because look, I can't eat myself a starter and you know, I don't, I don't want to have everything because I want to just enjoy one food and maybe a, yeah. a good champagne. And oh, okay. Yeah, good. Uh, just, you know, just a good place to sit. I'm telling you that works like magic and a good, uh, maybe a beautiful destination where we are just uh -huh. sitting chatting and good conversation is what is beautiful. And somebody who is non-judgmental, firstly, yeah. mm. and you yourself you, you know somebody who doesn't uh, you don't have to necessarily adore me all the time yeah. I don't think that kind of um, you know uh, it, uh, the love shouldn't come on the first day the love should slowly grow and I love that <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't want to be looking for too much of love um, <laughs> it has okay. to be so silent that um, <laughs> silent love it's like a gradual increase to enjoy the journey <laughs> very good I feel <laughs> Yeah. So what's a deal breaker for you then? Um, Apart from too much love on the first date. <laughs> I think um, not. Uh, I think if the person is not loyal, it can break my heart. Yeah. Mm. So this so is it. To me knows what loyalty means to me. So that's all. A little bit of oh. You can't be honest all the time. I can't yeah. be like, asking for it like you have to be super honest like everything you do you need to tell me no that never happens because mm. some someone will lie and uh, i still can deal with it you are uh, dishonest mm. at certain points in the story but uh, if you're not loyal 
mm. then I was it. Yeah, so this is it. They couldn't I, convince you after that. So no, that, no, listen, that to me, I couldn't, I couldn't give you enough love that you know yeah. you still hover around. So. Yeah. So this is it. So listen about lies. Now, if the guy is wearing something really awful that is almost embarrassing, or, or he, he he smells as if he's done like a a six k run, would you tell him? <laughs> oh, okay, I know. Yes or no? There's only one answer. Huh? Uh, on the first date, he's smelling like uh, like something which is an uh, athlete. An athlete. <laughs> So I'll, I'll not insult him. I'll not insult him. Maybe he's a great person who who doesn't take care of the smell, but he has got the rawness of the sweat. So I tell him that you know, just that you you are you're a beautiful person. You're an amazing person, but you know what? you should, you should wear a perfume. <laughs> Would there be a second date? <laughs> That's all I want to know. No. No. Oh, see, no. The, this is it. Oh, I, I, on a very good note, I'll be very, very mildly um, good to him. I will never insult him because I don't have that habit of telling somebody. Listen, you're smelling yeah. like kids. Just leave. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. It's not on me. But I'm going to tell him that you need. You know, why don't you? You should. I think you should try some perfumes. It just, it just good. Positive feedback. <laughs> Please try a perfume, and this one. The, <laughs> there are certain perfumes from men I really like. Why don't you buy it and wear it? Oh, oh. god, I love it. Positive feedback, <laughs> recommendations. Oh, again, I'm getting a call. Oh dear, it. Oh, it's okay. You know what are their names? <laughs> give me their names. Give me their names. I'm going to give them a shout out. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> oh, both of them are guys who have taken me out for dates. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, so so obviously they passed oh, no. the smell test. I, ten years friends. But oh, I see. Okay, they get so. Time to go out, and I'm not going to go out today. So for any coffee, because I'm having coffee. I don't know because maybe it's a pandemic that's taking over now. People are so yeah. bored, and they just so. Uh, and it's not about going out with anybody. It's just having a right conversation and getting that energy, that yeah. vibe, that from a person yeah. can give. It. And no, it's, it's no. really, really right. Cool. So yeah. So here's the two. Sh here's a shout out to both the boys that are calling Shotarupa right now. Cut it out. This is my day. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> so sort yourself out. Okay. Or tune in here. I'll tell you why they're calling me. Firstly, one of them is near my house. Okay. okay. Has <laughs> and he doesn't want to just go before meeting me or maybe something like that. And one uh, friend. Wants to give me some green teas, which he has got it from somewhere. Yeah. And he just wants to give it to me, and he's just calling. So, but I clearly told him that I'm going to meet and take the green tea today. But I don't know why he's calling. So. <laughs> well, all I know that people who want to marry you. So, Jomal Le Mayur wants to marry you. Saraya, I love you too. That's lovely. That's really nice. I, I, you know, I, I can share my love right now. So oh, you're getting a lot of propositions here. Somebody wants to marry me. Where are we now? <laughs> it's like, you've passed. You've passed. I know it's my date, so you can marry her later. <laughs> this is somebody proposing to you, and somebody's proposing marriage to me. What are we supposed to do now? <laughs> oh, Sarfoz, Sarfoza. Is it Sarfora? Uh, I don't even know whether it's a real name or, or I, I don't even know what it is. But anyway, I tell you something. So always before we end off, right? So if you had to, if you had to. Well, sorry, what was that? Dad, let's not end it so soon. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. But you know, these guys, they keep on calling you. They, they, they're dying for your attention. Oh, look, Raj is saying, you know, from Gujarat, he's sending you his love. I can't compete with these people. <laughs> so, what, be, real, what, uh, so, at what age uh, did you start enjoying coffee? How am I supposed to answer that? Um, <laughs> When I was really, really young, I started enjoying coffee. Surya. Oh look, and, and Imsha, love from Bangalore. How lovely! Abi, Abhishek, you were on as well. So hi to you too. Uh, some lovely faces there. Oh, I love love hearts. Oh God, you know what? I think I'm just very traditional here. I like love hearts. 
That's a, yeah, by the way, that's a message for all of you. I love love hearts. Okay. <laughs> that's a hint. <laughs> oh, dear. But listen, if you had to reflect how you're feeling right now, what would the hashtag be? So it'd be hashtag and what feeling right now? Hashtag blushing. Oh, oh yeah. see, isn't that lovely and girly? Blushing all over this conversation. I don't know. At the moment <laughs> I've got it, I think it's your vibration and uh, <laughs> You just, uh, I think you're just very happy to talk to somebody. Um, yeah. Look the... at my date. Huh? Look at my, look at my date. How can I not be happy? <laughs> <laughs> but you see, oh. yeah, that is something which is actually, um, you know, falling in place, I feel. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think that it's it's very very rewarding when when there's the same vibe coming together and uh, it's just a little bit of laughter and just oh, this is this is the way I roll. As anyone who knows me, I'm always laughing and joking. I I, I do have serious conversations, but yeah. you know, at the end I'll have to laugh or I'll slip in a joke and I'll have to laugh because yeah. I, it's this energy that I just have my that prom that prominent thing is to laugh. I, I can't help it. And my mom always used to say to me, Annie, you know, life is more than ha ha he he. And <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, but I have always tried because of my field of acting. It's not, you can't take your, uh, you know, uh, you can't just uh, laugh with your mouth open all the time. You do have, a, you have to have a gate and, you know, always, you know, pretend that everything is very controlled and you are a controlled freak. I have not. <laughs> all because I love laughing with my um, you know mouth open and uh, if my teeth uh, my tooth are coming out which is okay I can't uh, you have a good <laughs> set or two but I have a canine you can just have feel you make you feel like Bollywood but <laughs> but I just <laughs> so if, if control is is what it's about then I have failed miserably in Bollywood I have failed <laughs> I failed better than you I failed anytime oh. Uh, suppose I'm excited with you at the moment in, in the chat. I will not keep it to myself. I'll just put it out to you that, oh my God, I'm so happy. Take it. So, yeah, this is what I'm happened. taking it. I'm taking it. I'm grabbing it. <laughs> I can't. My mom and dad has been like that. If I come home, they just keep jumping around and I can say, what's going on? My dad is jumping. My mom, mother is cooking. You want this? I say, just eat. You cannot give me another bunch of food. Like, no, no, eat this, eat this. So I have got that genes, you know. I'm mm. to ourselves. You can't be controlled. But yeah, if I'm angry and I'm upset or maybe something has hurt me, you will see a different person in me. Oh, that look, even that sounds exciting, Shota Rupa. So people take note. <laughs> That is a different side. I have that attitude coming in or maybe a different, the fact that I'm short Rupa, I have 100 different characters, 100 different beauties, a name named after Durga, Ma Durga, who has 100 different avatars. I think oh, wow. I some 50 to 60 different avatars in me because um, very moody. Oh. Oh. This is very disciplined. Sometimes, you know, gets angry very quickly. Don't worry about it. So that means 10 dates to see 10 different people. But you know, <laughs> let me just imagine 10 different conversations. How exciting. <laughs> yeah. uh, so if somebody's giving me a wrong vibe, I'll give it back to you. Yeah, I'm good like for that. you. There's a bit I'm of Kangana <laughs> coming out there. <laughs> so if you're respecting me, I'll give you, I'll match your levels all the time. If you, I'll match your level. If you're respecting me, I'll respect you. If you disrespect me, I'll match that level of disrespect. To you. Oh, see, see, this I, is the athlete. This is the athlete coming out to you. That It's in the genes. I see it. I tell you, but Shodhara, you've been, Shodhara, you've been fantastic. You've been an absolutely dream date. And I have to say, I've really enjoyed this evening and I hope it's been the same for you. Of course it was. It was lovely. I loved your questions. I am so happy I could open up. And uh, some of the viewers, uh, I think they will watch it when I post it on my uh, page. Uh, once they come, they start commenting. And I'll, I'll clearly know that, you know, some of them didn't know about my athlete background and also a lot yeah. of things about me. And today, I, the fact that I spoke about it, it's, it's going to be good for the audience and also people who want to know about well, you see, this is it. See, no, when I do my interviews, I like to get to know the real person. 
right? The real personality. So if you'll notice, it's less about the movie. I'll mention it, but it's more about you because that's my interest. Um, so you know what? Annie, you should do a lot, a lot more of this. I'm not just because I'm not saying this for saying it, but I think you can hold on conversations and you know how to blend in in conversation. It doesn't feel like an interview. It feels like a complete series of a conversation going on with you. And I think you should take it ahead and you should be on a TV or a channel somewhere where you can sit and do this. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. So any directors out there, you know what? Call Shotarupa's number because obviously that's a lucky one. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Do call me if you need Annie's uh, phone number. Offer her a show. Her, her, she, she can host something like this where she can talk to people in real life and, talk, you know, a, a real talk. Then I think oh. she would be good at it. I'm sure. Oh. You're the perfect date, I have to say. You know what? Fantastic stuff. Lots of people are messaging you. And to be honest, I'm going to have to let you go because I, I do like to share my love. And these people are going to get frustrated at the fact that you're not picking up your phone. So I'm going to have to give you back to your yes. lot. Uh, but you've been an absolute dream. And listeners, all the viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to hear more, see more, get onto my website, annied.in. It's all there. And so will Shota Rupa be soon. So, Shodharupa, thank you once again. Absolute pleasure. It was Absolute my pleasure. The pleasure was mine. And take care, Annie. It was lovely talking to you. And uh, yes. yes. Absolutely. So, take care and good luck. <laughs> I'd love to see what you do in the future. <laughs> thank you. Sure. And I, I'm just keeping your fingers crossed. I hope something great comes in. And then we're going to chat on, on that. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Absolutely. You give me a call. Because we're going to get the scoop right here. We're going to talk about it. And let's do this. Oh, yes. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.